Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at, uh, you know, some added functionality to our Street Fighter 2 game. And you see that we have added crouching punches and kicks and a jump. Now, there's a lot more that we need to add. There's a ton. And so I hope to get through this video quite quickly. And, uh, you know, we're, we've pretty much laid a good foundation uh, to build off of, but there's a big change I'd like to make in this video as well, um, aside from these animations, and it is a way of keeping track of frames per second. And uh, before we were not really doing that, we were just doing, hey, let's, uh, let's draw it at this speed and see what happens. Um, but that changes uh, based on what system you're on. So if I was on a really slow computer, uh, you know that my game would really run slow only because I was telling it to run uh, as uh, fast as it could or whatever and so it uh, it it really depends on uh, how fast your your computer actually runs and so what we want to do is uh, we want to kind of limit that and say hey we want it at this frame uh, frame rate um, or this this many frames per second okay and so uh, that's what we're going to do in this video we're going to get these changes and that significant change uh, that won't be too bad and so uh, when we left off your uh, video your code should look a lot like this okay so we have that game loop and uh, so roughly you should have you know 300 and something lines 300 and 47 or so Excuse me, I got the hiccups Okay, so We're gonna go through this um, I have um, Made quite a bit of changes to the code and uh, So, you know, I'm not doing a lot of this stuff on the fly because there there are just so many like small numbers that you have to do to that sprite sheet to get everything to look uh, proper like this stuff right here and uh, so um, what I want to do is just go ahead and get that out of the way um, so here right after Ken high kick we're going to add some more stuff okay so uh, the first thing we might want to do I'm just gonna go ahead and copy one of these. Uh, right here, we're going to say, uh, Ken, not Ken Idle, it's going to be, so Ken straight jump. Okay, this is when he jumps straight up in the air and uh, comes down from it. Okay, so uh, there's quite a few frames to this. And so here, Ken straight jump, we'll say that X is 449 and we won't say it, it is exactly that. Um, okay, so that's good. This is 499. And the width on this one is actually 42. Uh, not 72, uh, 42. And then here um, on the third frame, Right, where are we at? So the second, the third frame right here. Uh, instead of 449, we're now at 541. Uh, the width is 37. And then 578. Um, the width is 38. Okay, we're just going to comma there, bring this down to the next line, and then how many more do we have here? One, two, three. Okay, so three more. Take this, copy, paste. Okay. And so here, we start at 6.15. And you know, it's been so long since I, I did this previous video. Uh, some of you may have went ahead and said, hey, I'm gonna do this by myself. 
and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what some of you may have come up with uh, since I kind of started you down this path and you were like, well, you know, I, I don't need to wait for this jerk to make another video. I just want to go ahead and make, an, make the game myself. Hey, that's great. I would love to see if, uh, if you can uh, sh upload a video and provide, provide a link in the comments. You know, I would love to see that. Um, and so that's our straight jump. And what we want to do next is uh, we have just this thing called crouch. Okay, so I'm going to take Ken Idle again. Crouch. And uh, so in my previous video, uh, this is 1157, and in all these previous videos, I did kind of go about doing uh, variables the old way. Uh, but note that the old way, when we say var, that's the old way of doing things. And a lot of people took offense to it. Uh, they said, why are you teaching uh, new things using old methods? Well, hey, this old method works, uh, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time just as well. Okay, there are small little edge cases where variable uh, provides a scoping issue. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it might create some problems. Um, so, you know, some people were really upset about that, but I wouldn't be too upset um, if I were you and I was watching this video and be like, man, uh, you know, why, why is he teaching it with, with these old variables? Um, because, uh, you know, you're, you're learning something. You're, it's, it's providing some value for you. Um, and <laughs> if we want to get, uh, you know, technical, uh, the new way is just a three, you know, let, okay? The difference between var and let. I know there's a significant difference, uh, but um, for our purposes, var will work. Now, in my other tutorials, um, I will be using const and let uh, to get into the, the ES6, ES6 way of doing things, the, the newer JavaScript uh, way of doing things. Um, but, uh, you know, whatever. Okay, so uh, here, what we want to do is uh, this one is going to be Ken Crouch. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and name them all out. So this is going to be Ken. And so this is Ken Crouch right here. This is going to be Ken Crouch low punch okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and then copy and paste this is gonna be Ken crouch medium punch you guessed it high punch and then we're gonna have low kick medium kick high kick okay so um, in fact I can just probably copy that put that here low kick medium kick high kick okay and um, so medium punch is gonna have one two three four frames okay so let's go ahead and copy this and we're just gonna add another one of these to it copy paste and uh, instead of 449, so this is, I don't think I actually changed these values here. Maybe I did. Crouch low punch is going to uh, start at zero. And uh, the Y actually changes on this one. So it's 375 here. The width is going to be 56. Uh, so here we got a uh, uh, low punch, and so this is going to be 56. Uh, y is 375. The width is going to be 66. And the height is going to be 100. And then for um, the next one, we have 125. So 125. We have uh, y is 375 again. The width is going to be 48. And the height 
is 100. Okay, so for medium punch, we have So for medium punch, we have 178. Three seventy five, fifty one hundred. That looks great. Here we have two twenty nine, three seventy five. Uh, the width is going to be sixty six, uh, hundred, two ninety five. The Y is going to be three seventy five. Uh, the width here is going to be 50. And then uh, the, the last value over here is going to be 345. Uh, Y375. 52. Okay, and so that's great. Um, and then hide pot. Let's see here. So that's going to be four. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this right here. Copy, paste, and we're just going to paste this guy onto the end. So we're going to copy him here and add another um, another frame to it. Okay, and so this one uh, is actually going to be three ninety nine starting off. Three seventy-five. This is going to be so medium punch, high punch, and so this is going to be forty-nine. I know, weird. We changed by a single pixel, but uh, whatever. Uh, this is going to be four forty-eight. Uh, now note that some of these things uh, they look slightly off. Uh, like when you're doing a punch, uh, I can't forget which punch, I can't remember which punch it is, uh, but uh, there is a, uh, a particular punch where it actually shifts the feet over, and so that means that I did not do a good job of, uh, you know, determining um, uh, the, the X value on that one. And so that would be that would be something that would be prime for going back and uh, making sure that uh, you know those values are are correct uh, and that's what I would do after I got you know something something that was working uh, right now we don't have anything that's you know terribly working at the moment and uh, so uh, eventually once we get collision detection in and stuff like that uh, we could go back and look at that in fact it might mess with our collision detection quite a bit um, and so yeah now we're going to go down to our crouch uh, kicks and stuff like that. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm feeling kind of lazy, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that. I'm super lazy. Okay, so this is uh, the low kick, medium kick, and the high kick. And um, I'm just going to run through these instead of typing them out because you, you don't want to see that. Um, and so note at this one, the low kick and medium kick actually uh, both had three frames, whereas the low punch and medium punch crouching, uh, one had the low punch had uh, three frames and the medium uh, uh, punch had three. Uh, four frames okay so this uh, low kick and medium kick here are the same and so there are the values that so 658 is the X starting for the low uh, kick the crouching low kick and then we got 712 and 788 and the widths change quite drastically there 54 76 54 and for the medium punch it is or the medium uh, kick it is uh, slightly different in that it goes uh, 
width is 54, the width is 93, and the width goes back to 54. So it actually stretches the leg out a little bit more. So that for collision detection, it makes it so that uh, the, the, you're attacking at a greater distance. And then here we have, um, we have one, two, three, four, five frames for the high kick uh, crouch. Uh, so high powered kick, we should say. And then, so the X starts at um, 1047 there and goes all the way to um, 1284. And so I'm gonna uh, sit here for just a second. And so this is the uh, high uh, Ken Crouch high kick. And so 1047, 1102, 1177. And then over here, we got 1233, 1284, and make sure that you're paying attention to the width of that frame. Okay, and so you could have pushed pause on this. Uh, I went all the way over, all the way over. Uh, push pause if that went a little fast for you. I know I would have to probably push pause um, at the um, while, while that was being typed out. Um, wouldn't be able to do that on my own. Uh, I can't remember if we put this in our last one or if I added it after uh, we finished our last tutorial. Usually I'm pretty good about keeping uh, code exactly how it is because I'm a teacher, I teach this stuff. And uh, when we come back to class and uh, you know I've changed something and then I'm trying to explain you know what we have to do um, for that day and all of a sudden there are actually you know there's code that's already been fixed or completed. And so this is something that we'll be looking at today, and maybe we added it in a previous uh, version of this. Uh, but uh, if this is not in your code, we want the player Y, and uh, we want the jump speed to be added, okay? Okay, and so um, the, the next thing that we wanna do is um, add some other variables. So in this one, remember, we're trying to keep, uh, we're trying to um, add jump, and we're trying to um, add all the stuff that we just put in, the, the um, crouching kicks and stuff like that. So uh, right here, uh, we're going to um, add some uh, player height. So we're gonna say uh, var player jump height. Okay, so we have some variables, has jumped. Okay, so if they, you know, hit the control, uh, then it sh should probably hit them, make them jump. And uh, this one has reached jump height. Okay, so what makes, what makes a player jump? Okay, obviously it's gonna be this up pressed, all right? Uh, now keep in mind, uh, I just went ahead and uh, minimized these over here that we have, uh, as far as I know, uh, we will not make any more changes to key down or key up handler. Unless we wanna put a pause button or something in there, we might do something with that. Uh, but right now all the keys are in there that we need, okay? so. Most of the time, we're just gonna be dealing with this, okay? Uh, maybe we will be changing some of this because uh, as it stands, uh, we have an if and an else if here, and this will be for the next video, but I wanna actually point this out, is this will run if this is pressed, and then if this is pressed, none of these other things will run, okay? But in Street Fighter, you might want to press two buttons at once. For instance, I might want to be jumping left and I hit my uh, control pad to, to hit both those buttons so it jumps back. And as it stands right now, 
uh, our controls cannot do that. Uh, so we do, we definitely need to uh, put that in, okay? And so um, we we will probably be changing these ifs to uh, these else ifs to just ifs, um, and uh, we'll probably make that change in the next video. Uh, but for right now. Uh, we're going to go down. We're, we have one more variable to add that I um, that I kind of missed, and we said that we we want to control our frames per second. Now, um, as far as I know and as far as I read, um, Street Fighter Two ran at uh, sixty frames per second. Not all Super Nintendo games uh, ran at sixty frames per second, but uh, this one did. Um, and so down in controls, that's where the meat of our additions are going to be, okay? So if we hit up pressed, um, what we want to do is we want to say, uh, first we want to be checking to see if they've already jumped, okay? So if they've already jumped, we don't want to be able to jump again on top of a jump. Okay, so some games might let you do that where you jump, and then if you hit jump again, it will go even higher. Uh, but uh, Street Fighter II uh, was not like that. Um, so we want to check to see if that is false. And if that is false, um, what we want to do is get rid of this junk, and um, we want to say, So we don't want it to continually uh, jump. And then what we want to do here is uh, we want to say uh, if player one state dot state dot locale compare uh, is equal to idle. So if they're in the idle position when we jump up. What do we want to do? Well, what we want to do is we want to set the player one state uh, to uh, straight jump. Okay, so we're going to do that. Player one state is equal to this. It's going to be state there are um, seven frames um, auto Heat is false, and next state, uh, next state is uh, going to be idle, um, and then we'll go ahead and close that. And so, uh, what we want to do is we want to reset the the player frame. And we want to say that, you know, has player jumped? Well, yeah, he should be jumping right now. So we're going to say equal to true. All right. Um, so here we have this if statement and then if statement. Um, what we want to do, what we want to do, is we want to say, well, um, now we want a down pressed. Okay, so this takes care of our jump, and we'll deal with that when we get down into uh, draw player. Um, but first of all, this should be an else if right here. Okay, and so this is going to be an else if. So else if down pressed and not has player jumped and not player state um, so. So 
as I remember, I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to play, uh, you know, the game again uh, to iron out some of these differences. But if you were walking backwards and you hit down, um, it should, um, you know, it should. Uh, does it go straight down, or um, I don't remember. Okay, maybe it's the last key you hit. But for right now, we're gonna say. Uh, we're gonna say if it if if you're not walking, okay. Now we can change this um, pretty easily, uh, but for right now we're gonna do this. And if we do need to change it, um, I'm gonna go play some Street Fighter Two when I when I have time. I barely had time for this video, so <laughs> uh, you know uh, we do need to iron out those little things. Uh, but you know whatever. Um, so, what we want to do is if um, player one state dot state dot low um, idle um, is equal to zero, uh, what do we want to do? We want to say player one state is equal to and I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And it's not going to be straight jump. This is going to be crouch. Uh, there is one frame for crouch. Is it auto repeat? Um, false. Um, maybe this should be true. Oh. Um, let's go ahead and change this to true. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'll leave it at false right now. Okay. And so um, here what we're going to do is we're going to say reset the player frame. And then player frame count. Okay. And so that that sets that up. So if um, now what we want to do is if player one state um, dot state. In fact, I'm just going to copy this. Copy. Paste. I if. And then what we want to do is. Crouch. So if it is equal to crouch, what do we want to do? Well, we want to say, well, you know, are are they kicking or are they punching or something like that? Okay. And if they are, well, hey, uh, we should probably uh, allow them to crouch kick or crouch punch or whatever. Okay. So we're going to say, if they have hit the low kick, um, we're going to basically do this business. Uh, this is going to be crouch, low kick, frames are three, auto repeat false, and the next state is going to be crouch. Okay, so that looks good. And so uh, we're going to copy that, paste it here. We're going to say else if this is going to be medium kick. And not a lot changes. We are going to change that LK to MK. Three frames, crouch. Perfect. We're going to copy that. This is going to be, um, so this is going to be high kick, uh, crouch, high kick. Uh, the frames on this is going to be five, and that looks good. I'm going to copy this, all three of those, and uh, change that to an else if, and change these Ks to a low punch. 
medium punch, high punch, and here we're going to say low punch, medium punch, high punch, and so this for that is going to be uh, instead of three three five, it's going to be three four five, and all that other stuff looks good. Um, so one thing that we probably want to do here is if they are jumping, uh, if they are doing a straight jump, they shouldn't be able to move left or right, right? So if they're left pressed and their state is currently jumping a straight jump, uh, then we don't want them to be able to move uh, left or right. Okay, so that'd look really weird. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one of these little things. We're gonna check to see if uh, local com is gonna be straight jump. Okay, and in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and for right press, it should be the same thing. Okay, so left pressed and they're jumping, right pressed and they're jumping, and actually it should be, and they're not jumping. Okay, we'll go ahead and make that change. Okay, um, so all that looks good. We don't really want to change anything uh, with, um, with any of these other states. Now, draw environment, uh, we're not gonna make any more changes to draw environment. The thing that's gonna be changed is now our draw character. Okay, so um, here, after walking, we have a crouch. So, in fact, I'm just going to um, copy one of these dudes right here. And call this crouch. Um, and so here we're going to do Ken walking. Nope. Ken crouch. Now, I think we've talked about this before, but it's been almost a month. Um, I want, if we're writing this over and over again, changing just uh, one little thing about it. Uh, that means it's prime for a refactor, okay? And so uh, that is definitely something we should be looking at, um, but I just haven't looked at it close enough to, to, you know, really identify what kind of changes we could make there. Um, but let's, uh, that, that's for a later time. All this refactoring talk, I'm just kind of like reminding myself that, hey, this is something that I do need to do, but um, something that's gonna be for the future. Okay, so LK, LK. So this is gonna be low kick, and so. It. So now we're going to do our high kick. So crouch, high kick. Okay. And so now what we want to really do is we have these right here, these three cases. Uh, so low kick, medium, high kick is going to be very similar to low, medium, high punch. OK, 
Okay, so uh, I'm just going to change these K's to a P. I should be more systematic about that. find and replace but whatever what I could do is just program the game and put all my code on the internet and say hey <laughs> this is how you do it um, you know uh, I guess I could do that Just to, <laughs> just to let you know, I have not finished this game yet. Uh, basically, as I make these tutorials, that's a, that's how far along I have programmed. So basically, I try and program in chunks that I feel are uh, a good stopping point uh, for a video. And uh, then, uh, you know, I stop and uh, go ahead and... Uh, create that video for that stopping point. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, copy it, and this is not going to be high punch. This is going to be our last little thing here. Straight jump. And uh, basically this is going to be Ken straight jump. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Okay, and so that looks great. One thing that this uh, frame rate um, fix has changed is that uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this. This if player frame count is, mod seven is equal to zero, um, and then we're going to up the player frame. So I changed that. It needed to be slightly faster. Um, so that looks good, that looks good. Now, one thing that was added is, so here we're saying, well, if, um, if we're auto-repeating, okay? So what we wanna do is uh, we want, so crouch is one of those things that should be auto-repeating, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this or at least the animation should stay auto-repeating as long as we're holding down. So this should say, if it is crouch, okay, and then player state, crouch. There is only one frame there, true, and crouch. Uh, oh wait, so uh, what what this should do is uh, uh, we'll leave it like that. I have it otherwise. I have it, it different in the code that I programmed last time, but I don't think that makes much sense. Okay, and so the last thing is this jump business. Okay, so uh, this could be um, improved a little bit and as all improvements go I will do that after we have something working uh, but this player jumps uh, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to say if so here we're introducing the whole idea of gravity how fast things fall stuff like that um, and uh, for, for this game, it's not super complex, all right? 
So if, it, if y is greater than or equal to 0, meaning that it has reached a, a um, so if it's greater than 0, meaning that it's below the, um, the height, maximum height that it could go, then uh, we want to do something to it. Okay, what we want to do, and it has not reached, it has not reached jump height. What do we want to do? Well, we want to say player one y minus equals 4.1. Now I did the 4.1, uh, that's basically, uh, if, we, if we got down to it, um, this would be how many pixels it would need to move uh, to make the animation look uh, right. Um, but, you know, uh, that that could be tweaked a little bit too. A lot of this is guesswork. Um, I don't have the code uh, to Street Fighter. I'm sure it could be, uh, you know, uh, reverse engineered somehow, I don't know. Um, but you know, I don't have it, so I'm just making as good of guesses as I can. And uh, that's what you are getting from me, is my guess on how this is, uh, how this is gonna work. Uh, has reached jump height. Um, so if it has reached the jump height, what do you think we should do? So if it's reached the maximum jump height, what do we do? Well. What we want to do there is we want to say player one y. Now what we're going to do is we are going to say plus equals the 4.1. So we want to fall that down, uh, and that's increasing the y. So that's a you know seems backward, not very intuitive, but and then so here we say player one y. Uh, is greater than or equal to 100. Oops, I guess I should probably fix all of this. Uh, so right now it's like 12.30 at night, so I'm trying to get this video done. Um, and so here we have uh, player 1y, 100. So we're just going to set it equal to 100, and we're going to turn off this player jump. It is now false again because it has reached the ground and has re reached uh, the jump height. That's going to be false as well. Okay, uh, so that looks great. The last thing we want to do is change all of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there for just a second. And we're just going to say function game loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to introduce this set uh, timeout. And uh, what this is going to do is it's going to call this function. And uh, here we're going to say we want this to run 1,000 divided by FPS, so what we set there. So this should be yep, 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 yep. Okay. And so here, what we want to do here is we want to request an animation frame. For not draw. That's why I named it in this other iteration of the game. Uh, for game loop, okay? And uh, what goes here is basically everything that went here, okay? So we're gonna put that there, and we're gonna get rid of this, and we are going to start, jump start this function by calling game loop. And uh, once it gets called once, it's going to enter this, and it's going to continuously 
uh, go through this cycle here. Okay, and so let's cross our fingers and uh, run this. And so here we have. Uh, That looks awful. <laughs> what have we done? Okay, so there should be some errors. There is not. Okay, so. So down pressed is not working. Uh, so the issue is something has something to do with that. Okay, so let's go up here to uh, our down handler so we have these ifs and else ifs and so here that all looks good uh, controls let's look at controls so if up pressed and not has player jumped up pressed is equal to false looks good if down pressed and player has not jumped and player state is not equal to walking so if player state idle player one state is equal to crouch frames false crouch all right if player one state is already equal to crouch then we get low kick uh, medium kick high kick okay and so must be something down here then so here we have our crouch case Crouch player frame dot X. Now, did I name it Ken Crouch up here? That's the issue. Maybe that's the issue. No. Okay, so that looks good. Um, it has to be something with this. Down press is equal to true. Um, and not has player jumped. So that animation is not working right there. And so the up and down, uh, is, there seems to be an issue with up and down. Okay, so I want to go back to this real quick and just double check the straight jump. Can straight jump, can straight jump, can straight jump. So that does look good. Um, that looks good. Um, what about this? Hmm.
Okay, and so uh, there is one more. <laughs> I was I was looking for it for a little bit. Um, one more change that uh, we needed to make uh, in order for uh, this uh, to not go straight to idle. Okay, and so this one is going to be. Uh, there's actually a couple changes. Um, I was I kind of lost my mind. It's so late. Um, I, I really wanted to get a video out there. Um, but here, uh, what we want to do is get rid of that. And this is going to stay say straight jump. Okay, and so notice how all these, uh, these compares, if we're comparing the state to what we think it might be, we're using a double equals and a zero. And there were some instances where I did not do that. Uh, for instance, uh, right here, um, I may have said triple equal right there. So I got rid of that. I think I got rid of uh, this triple equals and this triple equals. Um, so if if you're having problems where yours is not working as, sh as it should, uh, look for those triple equals. Just do a, a, a find and look for find next triple equals. Uh, here's one, this doesn't matter, but we're comparing strings here, and so uh, it does matter, okay? Um, and so I'm not sure exactly why I did that, but I did, and uh, uh, I'll live up to it. And so here, we're just gonna save that, and we're gonna run this, and hopefully it jumps. Okay, it does jump, it goes through its animation, now, is the animation perfect? Well, for a jump, it's not 100% perfect, uh, but it is pretty, pretty close. Okay, so th there are some things that we could change about that. Um, as I've said it from the beginning, uh, that will be that will have to come in the next video. Okay, so um, I think that's it. Ooh, are y'all seeing this? So there, there does seem to be something that we could fix there as well. Uh, I guess I didn't even notice it. Uh, the height here uh, actually should be a lot higher. So let's go ahead and change that. That should be the middle frame of the high punch. And so uh, right here, um, so we have a crouch high punch. And so this should be five frames. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and see, just to make sure. Um, well, let's go to the image and see what's going on there. Uh, the image is right here. Um, this is it. And so maybe we could just go 120. I don't know. Let's actually look at it in GIMP um, and uh, see what it needed to be. It does matter. So we're probably starting right here. So this is 476. And this goes all the way up to 360. 360 to 476. So that's 116. We'll call it 120 to be good. That's what I originally had thought. Um, so high punch, we're going to call this 120. And we're going to see what that does. Uh, doesn't 
doesn't do it. Um, so if we're starting at a Y of this, So let's so three fifty five, and this will say one twenty. I think that's I think that's it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The animation is showing up. Uh, it does have some issues. Um, hmm. Okay, so there is an issue here, uh, and I don't really have time to mess with it right now. Kind of want to get this. Uh, this video done uh, but we will have to come back to that uh, the the punch does not go all the way up in the air it gets clipped off uh, as it goes past a certain point I want to fix that but you know it's uh, 1 1 a.m. this video is super long and uh, you know that leaves us with a lot of stuff to do next time uh, so next time I want to um, look at the straight jump kick and maybe afford um, a forward jump and a, a backwards jump um, and then uh, maybe um, the fireball attack stuff like that uh, we might have to break those up into a couple videos they these run so long and I apologize I know that it, it might be kind of dry to watch through uh, all these things I'm doing uh, but you know uh, we'll, we'll get there eventually and uh, in the end you're gonna have um, a working version of Street Fighter and uh, you will also have uh, the knowledge that you can take and you can apply uh, what you did here and create your own uh, you know fighting game and there just are not enough tutorials out there that uh, take you on a journey from scratch nothing uh, to a complete fighting game uh, and you know that's something you're gonna get out of this but we definitely want to fix this and I'm gonna go make a note to myself and we'll fix that in the next video as well so I hope you enjoyed this if you did uh, go ahead and like and subscribe uh, you know when I when I see subscribers start adding uh, adding my uh, channel to uh, their their list and stuff like that when they, they subscribe and they like it really fires me up to make some videos um, and so, um, you know, uh, I guess I'll see you later.